Scientists from Duke NUS Medical School are exploring the use of immunotherapy as a potential treatment for controlling infectious diseases like COVID-19. This therapy involves extracting immune cells from a patient's blood and engineering receptors onto them. These receptors will allow the engineered immune cells to recognize cancerous or virus-infected cells. And to tell us more on this, we're joined by Dr. Anthony Tanoto Tan, Senior Research Fellow from the Infectious Diseases Program at Duke and US. Thank you very much, Dr. Tan, for joining us. Um, so, immunotherapy, often used in cancer treatment. What gave your team the idea of actually exploring this option for infectious diseases, especially for COVID-19? So, the laboratory that I've been working in have always been focused on understanding another infectious disease, which is hepatitis B virus infection, and developing new therapies against this liver disease, especially for a category of patients where they have long-term persistent HPV infection who are at higher risk of developing liver cancer. In these patients, the immune response against hepatitis B virus is defective, and as such, they are unable to clear the infection. This led us to the idea that we can use immunotherapy to try and restore the HBV immunity in these patients with the goal of eliminating both hepatitis B virus infection and its associated cancer. Okay, so we know that immunotherapy, immune cells are being extracted from a patient's bloodstream and then receptors are engineered onto them. Can you help us understand further how these engineered cells are able to identify the cancerous or virus-infected cells, and what happens after that? So the receptors that we are talking about, and we engineer it to the immune cells, it allows you, it allows the cells to recognize different things. We can switch the receptors around and make the immune cells specific for different targets, be it hepatitis B, or be it SARS-CoV-2, or simply in layman terms, COVID-19. So. In our case, the receptors are specific for small fragments of hepatitis B virus proteins that are present in infected cells and also in HPV-associated liver cancer cells. Upon recognition of the targets, these engineered immune cells will get activated, they will induce a cascade of immune reactions, and they will eventually kill the target cells. And these receptors, like I said, it could be specific for SARS, SARS-CoV-2, or hepatitis B in our case. So you mentioned that, that these um, cells will be able to uh, distinguish and then kill it. So how efficient is immunotherapy in actually fighting infectious diseases then? Well, essentially, when we developed the therapy for uh, HPV-associated liver cancer, um, we target the hepatitis B virus proteins. So it is a viral protein. And at the moment, we have only utilized the treatment in the context of advanced HPV-related liver cancer, primarily due to the lack of an effective treatment for these patients. Um, in collaboration with the Singapore General Hospital and a Singapore-based biopharma Lion TCR, we have successfully infused the engineered immune cells into two patients with advanced HPV-related liver cancer as a proof of concept. And in one of the patient, we observe a clear reduction of the tumor size and improvement of survival, which is very promising, both as a cancer treatment and possibly also for the treatment of infectious disease. However, for the application in HPV infection, we only have evidence of its effectiveness in experimental animal models, and there are additional safety concerns that need to be addressed before we can translate it into patients. So help us understand then with what you're doing now, how is this different from current antiviral treatments? So unlike immunotherapy approaches that directly kills infected cells, current treatments for viral infections in general are mostly small molecules that stops the virus from replicating while keeping the infected cell intact. While this is effective for certain viral infections, in the case of persistent viral infections like hepatitis B virus, the treatment then needs to be administered lifelong as the infection is suppressed but not completely cleared. It is then likely that you require a supplementation with an additional immune component like immunotherapy before such persistent uh, viral infections can be uh, cleared. 
Well, thank you so much, Doctor, for speaking to us and helping us understand further the use of immunotherapy. We've been speaking with Dr. Anthony Tanoto Tan, research, uh, Senior Research Fellow from Duke NUS Medical School.